I don't want to say that I broke my fishing pole. A fish broke the end of my fishing pole, which seems like a poor, poor design. I don't feel like a fish should break the pole before it breaks the 3.4 pound test line. But anyways, I don't have a pole. But I did bring all my fishing stuff, like the line and the lure. So I'm gonna try. I've seen this done on a loan, so I mean, well, how hard could it be? I'm gonna try to make a rod out of a tree. How ghetto does this look, huh? One of these pine trees and uh, try to catch a fish that way. So that is mission number one here at Bourne Lakes. Oh, man, just can't set that hook. So, here we are in the White Clouds again. White Cloud trip number two. After going to Chamberlain Basin last time, I uh, thought I'd check out Ant's Basin. And I came this time with my aunt, my uncle, and uh, their hiking friend Echo, all from Burley, who came and stopped here to, to just do this as a day hike. And then they turned around and headed back to Petta Lake to sleep in their warm RVs while well, I decide to stay out here and uh, deal with whatever this, this weather is. It looks like storm clouds brewing. Yeah, I got a Garmin. Dealing with my uh, broken fishing pole, I had this very strange thought about nature. Maybe I'm reaching, so bear with me. I think one of the things that attracts me to the wilderness, the outdoors, is how incredibly fair it is. You've probably heard people say all the time, life isn't fair, and uh, I'm not sure it's life that isn't fair. It, maybe it's just society that isn't fair. Nature is harsh, it's violent, it's unforgiving, but it's always governed by a set of rules that seem to not be broken. For example, if you see a grizzly bear, 
you know what it is. When clouds form in the sky, you know that rain is coming. <laughs> Everything out here acts the way it's supposed to. When the outdoors are untouched by our human error, it acts in this precise, almost calculated and mathematical way. Whereas in life or society, you can hand your money off to someone that's supposed to take care of it and invest it, like Bernie Madoff or something, and come to find out later that they weren't doing that. They weren't following the rules. That's the equivalent of a horse turning out to be a bear. You don't get that out here. I don't know how I took that away from a broken fishing pole. Maybe it's just the thoughts you have out here when you're by yourself. <laughs> There's a lot of time to think. <laughs>